Hey guys, working on the 2013 Ford Focus ST. I'm gonna show you how to replace the vacuum pump. So go ahead and pop your hood. So with your hood pop, go ahead and uh, remove your engine cover. You can just lift this up and it pops off. Just like that. And then you got these little rubber grommets that fit down in these little uh, spots here. And so with that engine cover off, if you take a look right next to your intake here, this is gonna be the uh, vacuum pump. And the reason I'm replacing it is the seal on the backside of these pumps tend to go bad. And then it starts to develop a pretty good oil leak. Um, I got oil all down on the transmission just from it leaking from that seal there. And uh, you can buy just the replacement seal for the vacuum pump. But it seems how this um, car has a little over 170,000. I figure I'll just replace the whole pump. And let me zoom in here see if you guys can see kind of hard to see but right down in there there's a bunch of just fresh oil uh, just from this leaking from that seal right there so that's what we'll be replacing so first we'll need to remove this uh, intake but before we do that let's go ahead and disconnect this vacuum line that goes over the top so you uh, what you do you got a tab on the top here and then there's one on the bottom you'll press those together at the same time and then pull out it's the quick disconnect style so just like that we can kind of just tuck that away for now. And then you can go ahead and pull off this 8 millimeter bolt here, holding our intake on. And then grab a 7 millimeter. Let's go ahead and loosen up that worm clamp there. And then if you take a look, you also have another one right here by your air filter. And uh, this one's an 8 millimeter for some reason, so I'm not sure if that top one was replaced. Let's go ahead and loosen that one up. And then you can disconnect your sensor here. You should be able to just push on this and then pull out. Now let's see if we can remove our intake tube here. Should be able to just pull it out from up there. And then let's see if we can get it off of here. Just like that. Go ahead and pull that out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just pull this off. That way it's kind of out of the way here. So you got this little tab here. So squeeze that. Lift up. And then we can go ahead and disconnect this vacuum line here. And it looks like that hose is getting worn too. So that might need to be replaced. But... Uh, Kind of like this one here, it's a quick disconnect and you'll squeeze these two here and it looks like looks like this one's kind of broke. You can see right there. But you're gonna squeeze on both sides and then we'll lift up. So, so you may need to use two fingers to do this. So squeeze it and then it just kind of lifts off of there like that. So now we can go ahead and remove the vacuum pump and you're gonna have a total of three bolts holding it on. So you have one right here, and then uh, there's another one down here, and there's a third one back here, which I'll move my camera for. But those are gonna be eight millimeters. So let's go ahead and uh, pull all those off. It's kind of hard to get that one out of there with this radiator hose in the way and if you take a look your third one is going to be right there so go ahead and pull that one off as well Now we shouldn't be able to just pull this out of here. This disconnects like that. And then you can see, so it's leaking all along here. You can see how much fresh oil's on that. So this uh, seal is just totally squashed here, so. 
And actually, yeah. So then just take you a clean rag. Let's just go ahead and clean up this mating surface here. Let's get that all nice and cleaned up here. I'll probably grab some brake clean as well. And uh, just make sure this is all cleaned up here. Alright guys, so you can see I got that all clean. Like I said, I just took some brake clean, sprayed it on my rag, and just wiped that up really good. Alright guys, let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, new vacuum pump here. So I just went with the OEM Motorcraft one, uh, BRPV-17. I'll put a link in the description. And as you can see, it comes with a new gasket and everything for it. And I will, I'll try to find just the gasket alone. So if you guys want to just do that and not the whole vacuum pump, and I'll try to put a link in the description for it. But if you take a look here, like I said, you can see just comparison on the gaskets. You can see how flat this one is. Uh, so that's probably why it ended up leaking. Like I said, this has over 170,000 on it. But you can see it's identical to this one here. Same exact thing. If we flip it over, same thing as well. And then um, what you can do is try to get this lined up kind of the way that was. So it'll go in the same way. So you can just turn this. And then just kind of get that lined up how it was. So just like that. So let's go ahead and uh, stick that on. All right, guys. So what you want to do now is uh, I'm just going to use some of this uh, Right Stuff 90-Minute Gasket Maker here. And uh, I'm going to go right where the cap comes together here. So you want to just put a little dab of that on there just so that seals up properly. So like I said, just take a little, little dab just kind of like that. Same thing on this side. Just kind of like that. And then grab your vacuum pump and then just make sure this gear is lined up. Kind of like the old one there because you want it to go into there correctly. Oops. So try to get that lined up as much as you can. Just go ahead and get this in here. So you may have to just kind of turn it a little bit just to get it correctly lined up and then just hold that in place. Go ahead and uh, get these started by hand here. So then just go ahead and get those snug, and then we'll go ahead and uh, do the final torque as well. So once you get those uh, snug, what you wanna do, grab your torque wrench, you're gonna torque those to uh, 10 Newton meters, or what would be considered right around 88 inch pounds. So go ahead and uh, torque those. Doesn't take much at all. Just like that. And then you can go ahead and remove this plug here. Go ahead and get your line back on there. It should just snap into place, just like that. Then you can go ahead and plug this back in as well. And then go ahead and grab your intake tube. We'll put it on down here first. And then go ahead and get it on up here. Grab your eight millimeter bolt. We'll go ahead and stick that in right up here. Tighten that down. Then 
can go ahead and tighten that up with your seven millimeter. And then of course this one down here. And then you can go ahead and plug in your sensor here. And also this vacuum line here just clicks in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that gasket maker uh, set up for a little bit here before we go ahead and start it. Okay, so I went ahead and let that uh, gasket maker set up for a little bit here. So let's go ahead and uh, start it now. your uh, engine cover back on here snaps right into place all right so that's going to do it for the video again this was a 2013 ford focus st went ahead and replaced the uh, vacuum pump pretty easy to do only takes you maybe 30 minutes or so and uh, hopefully this video helps you out if it does why don't you subscribe to the channel check out my other videos i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching